This is code.org. Displace enemies. By the way, if you're missing this stuff, right, you don't have a game, you need to go back and do the other parts of this lesson. Okay. It's time to write code for some more sprite interactions. Your player sprite should displace the enemy sprites. Cool. All right. For this level, you'll be writing code inside the displace enemies function. Okay. So let me go find that. And keep in mind, right, draw loop, it runs 30 times a second. Here's displace enemies. And so when it gets to that, it says, what the heck is that? And it starts looking around and do, 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 smack. Hits this, runs the code inside, then goes back up to where it was called, to where we asked it to run. And what would it would run next is enemy touches water. All right, so displace enemies. Write code that makes the player displace both enemies. Test your program to make sure your player is displacing the enemies but they keep moving right after the player moves away okay so we need the player to displace the enemy let's see sprites hmm oh wait a minute bounce bounce off collide let me grab one of these guys and so i want my player to literally what it says displace the enemy and so let me try enemy one at first Keep in mind, what's inside of here is an if statement. We can't see it, but this is a method, this displace with an if statement. And that secret if statement is checking, hey, is the player touching the enemy one? And if so, let them, well, you'll see, let them displace, let them move them around. So see how we can move enemy one around? But watch. Second we let go. Whoa, oh no, oh no. All right, so we have this block literally that does the displace for us. All right, let me grab the other displace and give this a try. So now player dot displace enemy two. Can I move? Ah, I can move that one. And we got them both. Second I move out of the way. Test your program displacing enemies, but keep right. Yep, that was pretty easy. It's thanks to this, well, method, this part of the code. And feel free to test the other ones out, but this is probably what you're looking for. As always, if you hover over one and click see examples, you can get a ton of more useful info. And they even have this, which is nice when picking uh, what type of movement or interaction you need. All right, let's keep going. 